So yes, I am shooting vertical video. I hate vertical video too, but it's the only way I could fit in all of me, my smiling face, and this little saying here. Uh, and I put it on here for a reason. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about the secrets of my success. And there really are no secrets to any of this, but early on, uh, I have, I've had a couple of mentors in my life, people that I that don't even know who, that I exist. Um, one of which was Zig Ziglar. And I talked a couple of weeks ago about um, your learning filter and, and being able to, to take that which you like and, and discard the rest. But Zig Ziglar was such a huge part of my life early on. Had I not discovered him, uh, I don't know what my life would have been. Um, and what he is more than anything else is just all about positive affirmation. So what I wanna try to get all of you to think about today is, where are you getting your inspiration and your motivation? Because we all need it. Zig Ziglar has a, a great saying, he said, uh, you know, some people say motivation, that's no good because it wears off. And he's like, yeah, well, so does bathing, but we still recommend you do it every day, right? So them that don't know, don't know, they don't know, it's called cognitive dissonance. Um, you need a, a mentor. Um, I'm happy to be the mentor for some people. Um, there are a lot of great people in this business and they're, you know, names who are well known, Mark Farrell, Peter Mary, Mike Walter, Joe Bunn, Bill Herman, Jim Cerrone, Jamie Bodie, uh, I mean the list, Jason Jana, these, these Brian Bonacici, the, the, the names go on and on and on. But find somebody that you connect with and it doesn't have to be a well-known name. It can also be somebody in your market. We, we tend to kind of look down on each other and we shouldn't, we should, we should look up to each other. Somebody in your market's doing something positive and, and upbeat and uplifting and find a way to connect with those people and, and see if they can raise you up and then reach back and pull somebody up with you. There, there's so much positivity in the world and we tend to focus on the negative. And, and I do it as sort of a joke a lot, uh, but I find myself sometimes being a little too negative as well. Um, and there's a, a great saying that, again, this is Zig Ziglar and I could quote him all day long, um, but Zig has this great saying, you know, it's a myth that you can do anything with positive thinking. It's just not the case. You know, I'm never gonna be able to dunk a basketball no matter how positive I am about it. But I can most definitely improve my basketball skills with positive thinking. If, I, if I'm about to take a, a free throw and I go, I know I'm not gonna make this, no, there's no way I'm gonna do this. I'm probably not gonna do this. Um, but if you have a positive attitude, you can. And so it comes to this, you can't do anything you want with positive thinking, but everything you do can be done better with positive thinking. And positive thinking doesn't mean having your head in the sand or being Pollyanna-ish. It just means, you know, I can do this. I got this. Uh, and, and we've all been tested at times in our lives and, and we're like, there's no way I'm going to get through this. But, you know, you look back. And think about some of the tough times you've had in your life, whether we're talking about, you know, kindergarten up through wherever you are currently in your life. And there have been some times when it's dark. It's really, really dark uh, in, in, in some way, physically, mentally, financially, spiritually, you know, whatever it is. And you got through it. And the best way to accomplish that is with positive thinking. So Zig Ziglar was my guy. I discovered him when I was 19 years old. Um, phenomenal influence on me. Um, I used my learning filter because he's very Christian. I'm very not Christian. Um, and even then that was the case. I was, I kind of came to him at a point in my life when I was stepping away from that. Uh, and, and I was able to, to learn an awful lot from him. So, uh, and I got a chance to see him live many times. One of my big regrets is that I never found a way to thank him personally, and I, I wish I could have done that. So find somebody uh, who can mentor you and find somebody you can mentor and be positive. Um, Dave Ramsey changed my financial life. Zig Ziglar changed my entire outlook on life of who I am. Um, I've, I've just been around people who are positive my whole life. And you know, I can hang out with negative people for a while, but there comes a point at which I go, that's enough. 
now I got to move on. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I've unfollowed an awful lot of people, maybe even some of you listening to this. Um, I don't usually unfriend or go drama. I just go unfollow. It's, it's too negative for me. So find some great things. Uh, go be a mentor to somebody and go be positive. Go do something good for somebody today.